we had a slightly less positive response from the Sunday Telegraph. BBC sinks to deadly low. Recent scandals appear to have done little to discourage the BBC from pushing the boundaries of good taste. I wouldn't be fronting this program if I thought that's what we were doing. I mean, the whole idea is, is to encourage people uh, that talking about death is in good taste and there's nothing wrong with it and there's nothing to be frightened of and there's nothing to be ashamed of in talking about death. I think we need to challenge our whole attitude to death and I'm not alone. Are you Carl? Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Carl Marlowe is an unconventional funeral director who's come to the High Courts in London to support one of his clients. It is coming out here now. This man? Yeah, you can't miss him. He's the one with the big white beard. Devinder Guy is a devout Hindu. He's fighting for his right to be burned on an open-air funeral pyre when he dies. It's a tradition that stretches back over 4,000 years, but has been outlawed in the UK since 1930. Hello, how do you do? I'm Richard. Hi. How are you? So basically, you want to have a funeral pyre when you die? Yeah, when I die. In your garden? Yes. Because that's what the religion says, and that's what I want. That's what you want? Yeah, because see, I want a good send-off. So I want my son to light my pyre. And do you pyre. think you'll win? I'm hoping for, and you pray for me. <laughs> As it turned out, Devinder Guy didn't win his case. It all began in 2006 when Carl Marlowe organized a funeral pyre at a secret location in Northumberland. It was next to a wood, so we just used the wood that was in the wood, put some coal on, just tried to make sure that the fire was really, really intense. So when you did this, did, uh, did the authorities find out? Well, I was driving around for about eight hours with this guy in the back of my car uh, in a coffin, like hiding from the police. And then as soon as the pyre was lit, there was nothing we could do then because the fire was lit. Yeah, and your company's called now Close it's Your please. Please, please. It means exactly as it says, because how I actually set this up, my mother died about 14 years ago. I'd never worked within the industry or anything before. And I just thought my mother's funeral was rubbish. The funeral director didn't do anything wrong. Uh, but it really didn't do anything. It's a con. Yeah. It's an emotional con. And a lot of people do funerals for what the neighbours think. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So do you think that funeral directors don't really give people options? I think funerals are far too quick. It doesn't give people the chance to find out the different alternatives that you can do. Or better still, I want people to talk when they're alive and express exactly what they want to their loved ones, then you can't go wrong. Yeah.